Hello and welcome back to Thurik Plays More Time City of the Damned and welcome back to our deadly challenge with our Skaven. <sighs> so yeah, we're we're back in this uh, once again, as always. I mean, what are you expecting? There's no reason not to be. Uh, don't know where I'm going with this, but that's okay. My god, he has so many injuries. God damn. <laughs> So I just wanted to make sure, because we can actually see his missing eye here, that's just I wanted to check if I'm not mistaken there, uh, if he actually has one. Uh, so yeah, we're still learning some stuff here, uh, as you might expect, and we do need to advance a day. We also need to wait for our shipments. So we are six days out, I believe, until we get the next shipment request. Um, okay, awesome, we already got the money out of that. And let me check this again. I went for one more thing, I think. I, I sold a bunch of the these uh, potions here. Uh, what did I do again? Oh, yeah. I, I went for Gorzun and gave him... Uh, made him learn armor proficient. So he's learning that right now. And that's pretty much it. So Geshtqual will stay out of this for now. Uh, yeah, we need Sneak to level up. So let's see if we have a Deadly, first of all. Before I think about maybe going for some more skills. Because we could afford to. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay, bummer. So let me check this again. Uh, Geshtqual has two skill points left. He does have Swarm. He now has Sidestep as well. So what do we go for next? I... Went... Yeah, we can't master that. I went with Art of the Silent Death on a lot of hours, but I like the Weeping Blade, so we might not want to do that on everybody. And I'm just trying to figure out uh, what we could do here. Um, we could go for... A, a high damage attack, possibly, so... Oh, I don't have enough strength for Strongbow. Oh, bummer. So we actually can't go for that. Do I have something here that we could use? Vital Strike, for example, has a better critical hit chance. Oh, God. Yeah, that's something we still need to get for our crit guys here. Um, I could go with Armor Break because that's always helpful, but it's just 10%. I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. Maybe I want to stick with the ranged stuff, uh, with the with the passive stuff for now. So we've got Swarm now. We've got Quick Incision. He does not have the toughness that he needs for Resilient. Um, I think I'm actually going to save this for now because we also might just want to um, master Warp Poison or something. So let's not go that route. Rierx with him being ranked 9 now. We did just master this, I believe. So now we've got the big question. I think we're just going to go with, with an active skill. And I'm going to start with the Vital Strike here. Give him the increased critical chance. Just build him for crits. We can master that right afterwards as well. And it's just going to take him one day to learn it. So he's going to be uh, able to get that mastery next day. So he still only has two spell points. We do have the Sorcerer's Curse now. Um can't really <clears throat> do much there. We could do something here, though. So is there something here that we might want to do? The Black Hunger does not help us that much. We could go with... Nah, that also is not that helpful. So we could either go with something here to, to increase his shooting capabilities, or let me take a look at the intelligence skills. I mean, knowledge more time is never bad, but I'm not sure if we need it here. Uh, reduce chance for enemies to resist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The range upgrade could be good. Or just go for arcane studies and get more, more points to, to learn uh, spells with. But I think we're going to go with the expert casting here. That seems like a decent thing. Yeah, okay. And that's it. So let us advance a day, I think. New hired swords are available. Okay, so we got the 
Uh, shipment request to Smurdelot Snicket, paid in full now. And let's check our next missions. There's a deadly, so we don't need to skip an additional day. But that means I'm just going to wait until I master the skill with him. Just because we might need him in terms of injuries next mission. Because this setup is scary again. Well, it actually could work out okay here, but we'll have to wait and see. So what do I bring in here? We've got two ranged, we've got three ranged guys. But he can switch his weapons to something melee related. Although I should, you know what? He has just a dagger here. I'm going to switch this. Give him a mace. By the way, we now have a blue halberd for Sir Killalot. We We got that out of the last mission there. So he, yeah, he has only the dagger right now. I also saw something for him that we can get him once uh, we, we switch him over to melee. There's so much good stuff here. I really like how they could be built. So let me show this to you for a moment here. We've got... Um, which one was it again? The Paralyzing Discharge, I think. So after dealing melee damage, tar the target gains a poison deal if that reduces initiative by 5 for one turn. And that's stackable. And we can master that if we bring up our intelligence up high enough. Um... So just reducing initiative, which is stackable, could be extremely valuable to us. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And then we've also got an active skill that's specific to him, which is the Warp Fume. So uh, that increases his melee hit and dodge chance, but reduces ranged hit and ranged resistance chance. So that seems interesting. And we also had something else here that I was looking at. Was that a passive skill? I think it might have been a passive skill. Oh yeah, the Dagger Specialist. That's what I was getting at as well. So he can... He gains a plus to hit and bypass chance against dodge and parry when equipped with a dagger. So if we build him for towards daggers, which could also work together with um, with uh, some other stuff possibly. Although we don't have access to to R of the Silent Death with him, bummer. But um, still could be good, and that's something that I'm considering there with him. Either way, we will now do our deadly mission. I hope we get the building set up, and not the other one. Your scouts report to you that a rival okay, we get the strike has been teams. spotted in the area pillaging houses. While they are dispersed and distracted, doesn't necessarily mean we're we're going to be in a rough spot. In the hope of surprising the <clears throat> enemy. Uh, it'll depend on where they will set up exactly, how far away I am, which map we're on, all that stuff. I, I like that the option objective is words don't rush again. So if we can work, in this case, it's a fifty percent uh, one. So. Just about half. Well, not about half, exactly half. A new round has So we need started. 11 wordstone. And let's take a look here. We've got Sleto, Radicate, and Sneak down here. That's an okay group. Oh, all the wordstone is in one spot. It's vampires. One group being up here. That seems... Okay, I need to be... I want to move towards the wordstone, but I can't to afford to move towards the wordstone. The enemy wallband will be here, somewhere. We're gonna be close. I can't go for the wordstone with this. Well, maybe? Our biggest group is back there, but we need to... If we move them in straight, but we need to move those across diagonal here, I think. But then these guys might be able to come into the back here and go for this. But how do we do that? Uh, so let's check the other groups. We've got three heroes here. So Jesus is in this group, and then we've got Mew Mew. Is this Gorzon? No, it's Ashken. So Gorzon is up there. No. No, Gorzon is not in here. Sleto is down there. So Sleto definitely needs to move over to here. Yeah, I think we're going to go... I'm not sure we can make that. Also, with that all being in one space, there might be a demon there. Oh, I'm so tempted to, to just try this out and see where it's going to lead us. You know what? He's not going to move much right now. We're going to do that, and now I'm going to delay. I want to see if we can figure out where the undead are first. So he's also down in that group. Um, sure, he's also going to delay. Then we've got the last one, which is up north. So squeal. We could move him back in here and then try to go for the words down there. And that's what we're possibly gonna do. The thing is, I cannot allow myself to be seen by them, because if they know that I'm up here, um, that would be bad for us. It's the group that's furthest away, I think, overall, so we need to be, be careful about this. Okay, and then he can just put himself in this corner here, 
keep himself safe, but we might be able to approach the words down there. The words don't all be in one place is awesome, but it's just they're right in our path. And I could go try to, to get a good movement in there because we're, we're not set up that bad. If we move these up here, move these over to there, we can both combine these groups. But if they see this group first, which they will because it's the only one that does have a basically have a direct line of sight here, they can all go there and I will have a problem. So right now, this worries me a bit, and I'm not quite sure yet how to tackle this, and I can't really make a big move here because I don't know where they are or going to end up. Okay, we do see her. She already had her turn. You know what? I think he's just going to go into an ambush stance right here. I'm okay with that. Okay, she's out there. That's fine. That also means he might be now able to go there and shoot her. Um, okay, yeah, this is the, the range that we need. Question is, do I maybe want to be as close as possible to there so that I can move into the building? Can I move past him in this building? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, so I should try to stay as close as possible to this. I could also climb up there. And see if we could get a high ground, but we might not be able to see her then. So I'm gonna, yeah, stay as far away as I can. Take my shots. First one is a miss. And second one is a hit. He also now has blue shuriken, which is gonna increase his damage a bit. I'm not gonna reload. Instead, we are backing off again. Uh, as far as we can get, so yeah, just behind this corner here. Okay, Mew Mew. Yeah, he's also going to delay. I'm gonna let their two guys take their actions first. I'm not quite sure. I don't want to be... They might now go for this group, so these definitely need to go down here, but if I run past this, there might be a lot here that still hasn't had their turn yet and then could attack me, so we need to be careful there. Okay, there comes the leader. Is he gonna come in? He is. I get no terror test? I didn't get to charge him? That's a shame. So now this position... He misses. Good, good, good. I don't like the damage that he's dealing here. Um, this position could be good, but it's also at least potentially dangerous. Okay, now we need to start moving, though. Let's see. Uh, stealing their idol, as always, could be a possibility. Okay, we don't see anybody over there. Which is interesting. Should probably do this. Uh, just throw a poison globe in that general direction in case somebody decides to go this way. It's not like we need the, the points or anything. And then we're just going to be on this line here, basically, and go into an overwatch stance so that we might be able to shoot inside there. If somebody decides to walk past us in this direction. Mew Mew is also going to... Uh, okay, we see a zombie up there. Mew Mew is also going to move over to here now. And probably set up an ambush like this. That could work. They might decide to attack him there, but I think that should be okay-ish. We'll have to wait and see. I don't really like this, but we can bring in Sleto and get a two-on-one. Although that's not really good, we should probably try to use Mew Mew that way, but Mew Mew might not be able to make it in case she's there. But I think we're just going to use Sleto to cover this area so that she can't move past us and attack him from behind. Yeah, Sneak is not in a good spot. We need to, to do something about him there. Okay, Trice. I still can't be aggressive here by moving down there, or can I? I don't know. 
because the straight line is a bit quicker and it would lead to me getting there as well, but they might see and come for me as well. I think we're gonna try. Do we see something already? We see one zombie over there, okay. That's not that big of a problem. And there is an exit over there, which is good, so we're just gonna do this. That's gonna make sure that nobody can come through the doorway in case they decide to follow us, but we are at least visually safe right now, and we can get in through the building here and then get a, a two-on-one in there, I assume. We'll see. So that's one of these two zombies. Okay, that one already had his turn, so it's this one. We don't see him. Good. He also needs to get a move on. We don't see anything here, and we only have the zombies there. So do we... How do I use him? I think I'm gonna... Throw a poison globe right there, because I can run through that, and we can also just go this way, and then I'm gonna overwatch. It's an aggressive stance with him right now, but they appear to be be more focused on our south side, since they have engaged us there already. So I hope that's gonna stay that way, and that we can do something there. I need these guys to come in. This is... It's scary stuff. And I don't like that she gets to go first overall, I think. Oh yeah, I think she's faster. Oh, there's a guy up there, so we might get to shoot him. Nope, he's out of range. But he's not coming for us. Okay, Ashkin. So that's, let's see. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory in which direction he is moving. Probably want him to be right there and cover that entrance. Next up is Sleto. So, Sleto, we have the issue. We, we could go in here, I believe, and attack him from behind. But there's only room for one. And I would like to get somebody in there that deals more damage. But we have her right there who could be a problem for us. So let's see if she decides to go this way. So... No, yeah, that's very far for her to go. I don't think she will be able to go inside this building from the other side. So what he is going to do is uh, just cover this. We're gonna go in an ambush stance there. And if she decides to move past us, we're going to be able to attack. It costs us some attacks, but I don't think he would make his terror test right now. He's still too low in level to get it to get a good chance of making that. So we are going to try to get Mew Mew in there. He's going to go fast. He's close enough to make it there, and all of that should should help us, I think. Okay, sir, kill a lot. Um. Also go as far as you can go, I guess. Although we're going to be blocking there if I do that. So, maybe... Be here? No, we're going to move him down. So let's be there with him. Once uh, Cheezus moves away, we're going to have a, a good line of sight. Let's see started. what she ends up doing. Okay, she moves straight where we want her to be. We got our charge. We made our fear test, which is nice. Um, so, that's only a dagger, I think, which is not a lot of damage, especially since we're in heavy armor, so that's nice. Um, this could be good. If we, we get somebody else there to block this, right now we don't have somebody there, but mm, we'll see. At least Sleto can, can take the damage and we have a good target to shoot and we can set up uh, Radicate uh, on the high ground there and sh shoot down. So all of that, at least, is a good thing. So I kind of get the feeling that I would like to delay here. But it's not going to be enough. Because we have swarms, so if I get somebody else in, we get a bonus. I think we can delay once, and then I need to think about it. Depends on what our moves are here. Okay, should I now... 
Oh, shoot. Okay, we can just shoot her. Should I now... Attack her? Do we move past her and try to hit the leader? I think we climb up here and then just uh, hit her. Yeah, that still seems like a good thing. Okay, the shot is not that good, so we need to go for an aim. One hit. And reload, please. And then we've got a second shot. Oh, another hit. Good. We are... The, now you can really see how important the weapons are, because now that we have some blue weapons, things are already looking a little bit different overall. I should have just pulled these down. Oh yeah, there's so much stuff going on, and we only have these two, and we're already in a problematic position with Sneak. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, no demon apparently, but lots and lots of enemies over there. So no. Oh, well, Gift of Savagery is actually nice, but still no. We can't attack there this round. I'm going to go to right here and then ambush. So if they come around the corner, we can attack them. I need to be careful with this. It's one, right now, it's one third of my wallband that can't do anything, and that's a problem. Oh, that's a ghoul coming up towards us. And our poison here won't help us much. A good chunk of the enemy warband is immune against poison, which is a problem. We can switch weapons with him. He's the, the melee guy anyway, so that works. So now you see what I mean. I can get... Either we can get our attacks in, and I might not get a second chance if I don't do that now, because he could end up attacking me more. Vampires are just so strong. Yeah, we're going to attack like now. Okay, good hit. 69 is not a good hit chance. Oh, but we hit him twice. Okay, lovely. But with Swarm, I just would have gotten a better chance overall. It just did not quite <clears throat> work the way I wanted it to. I shouldn't have set him up like that. I should have set him up a little bit further back. Uh, it's too late now, obviously, but... Oh, well, what can you do? Let's just hope that it's going to work out in our favor still. So... Uh, no, that's the wrong direction, so now we can get next to... We could either attack her, of course, but we're gonna have some others go in there, and he can attack here. So I want to try to just get past him. Good. There we go. I have failed my tarot test. I couldn't have charged, uh, so I can't charge, but at least we still get one attack. I would have gotten two otherwise. But now he has a second target to hit. We have a good dodge chance here. And let's just hope that he doesn't take out our leader. If I get another round of hitting him, we might be able to take him down, assuming we keep our t uh, we make our terror tests here. What chance did I have there to make that? Uh, I don't see it right now. Okay, he's insulting him. He's hitting him. as No, he hit my leader. He missed my leader. He hits Mew Mew. That's fine right now. Although Mew Mew could be in a bad spot soon. Kidney Strike on Sneak. He survives that. Okay. And a Parry Stand. So we're still alive. He's also just carrying a dagger. Next up. This one. Jesus. Okay. That's a bit rougher. We can just shoot her there. And I think that's actually decent. Yep, okay, we got her. Oh, we crit stunned her! Oh, that's amazing! So do I reload and go in Overwatch, or do I assume that they're gonna come towards us here more and I'm gonna throw a globe? I think we're gonna go with the Overwatch. Oh, I, no, I can, I can... No, we're just gonna shoot her again. Yeah, sure. That works. I'm not yet used to having quick reload with the warp lock pistols. That that actually helps quite a bit. Uh, because you just need one one uh, strategy point for reloading. So yeah, he can go in to, to help against the ghoul, though. I mean, that's pretty obvious right now. Uh, yeah, let's go in there. He dodges, but with an 80% dodge chance, we can't be mad about that. 
But now I have a two-on-one here at least. We can switch his weapons and we can get some, some good stuff going. He also already has Swarm. I did remember to give him that at least. And that should help our chances here. It all will come down to what these guys do. If they go up north, this group has an issue. If they go up south, we should be in a better position, I think. So switch weapons, please. And he has still has three attacks that I could go for. Do we want to go for these three attacks, or do I want to throw another poison globe? I think we're just going for the attacks. It's three chances to crit. Our crit chance is not good, but it's there at least. Um, we also have a chance to miss, of course, but at least we, we're in a pretty safe position, and yeah, now it's not that bad. And we still have one Verminkin over on the east from here, just on the other side. Okay, good. He comes down towards here. He goes for Jesus. That is not nice, but he charged, so he won't get a second attack. And we have two guys, no one guy. Well, no, we have two guys over there that can help. Although, I would like to get Sir Killalot down here, although we might not need that any longer. We'll have to wait and see how much damage Sleto can do as well. Okay, one guy up there. Overwatch, so he is a shooter. But he's not pressuring us, and we can just move away along this side. So all of that is fine right now. He can get two hits, 90% crit chance, it's not that good, but, well, about one in five. There we go. But her being critted already reduces her hit chance and should help us quite a bit. But we do need to, to get somebody else in there. I think we should try to just kill her. If we can, I have two choices now. We can either try to bring Ashkin down there or we can try to bring uh, Sir Killalot in there. I think I'm going to try to go with Ashkin and keep Jesus uh, safe with, with our hero. It means he won't be able to parry anything. But it's still... it's. I like this a lot. And yeah, we're gonna do that. Yes, let's do that. We, may, uh, we fail our fear test. I still hit. So I need one more hit here. Yeah, if we hit, she's toast. And we hit her. Okay, perfect. That's one down. And we're, we're blocking this perfectly, which is at least in part kind of a bummer because we do need Redicate to move through there now, probably. Okay, do I charge here or do I not? I think we charge here. 83% is good enough to charge. Ah, we missed. Buddy, we would have missed without this uh, regardless. But that's okay. One more chance. There we go. 56 is good. And then I've got a nice... <clears throat> I could actually use that on him. I think we're going to do that. We're going to heal him up by 20. It's not that much, but it's uh, it could be the deciding factor, and I do still get my parry. So overall, it's still not bad. A new okay, I like this so far. Here. We make our terror test. That's important. Our hit chance has improved significantly thanks to that. We still miss, though. Yeah, this guy is still our greatest problem. We miss and then he parries. That's bad. And the counterattack. Oh, no. I am still not convinced this is going to end well for us with him. He just needs to hit him one or once or twice again for, for that to work. Do we now go into the ghoul or do we go for the wordstone? I, as much as I want the wordstone, I think we need to focus on the ghoul. Uh, finish him off as quickly as possible and then just move on. I would like to charge, though. Good. Okay. So far, so good. We're not dealing a lot of damage here. These guys don't deal a lot of damage. I'm mostly going for, for toughness and agility on them and not a lot of strength. Yeah, he can't, can't hit anything from up here. So the question becomes, do I try to go down somewhere to get their leader, maybe? Or can we... We probably won't get a good line of sight on him. So for now, he is going to delay, I think. I'm going to wait one round and see if something pops up that could help us. Still goes for this guy. That's fine, though. 
So yeah, not only are they immune to, against a lot of poison, they're also just, most of them are immune against all alone. And that's something that um, with Skaven, I really rely on. Oh, we made our terror test. That's important. So, give me a crit, please. I only have a 14% chance. It's not good. Ah, crap. Okay, it's not enough. I hope our leader doesn't go down, but he might. <sighs> if only I had more sidestep already. Or anything. It's not completely over yet, but I don't think the initiative will work out that way. Yeah. We can't get it. Okay, there's one. So I think we still go down now. Can't really stay there any longer. Can we get past him? We cannot. Going after the zombie is not worth it. So let's see if I can maybe hit the leader. Okay, we can't hit him from here. Which means we're gonna move him over to here and then go in an overwatch and next round he can do something. That's probably what we... Well, it's not probably what we're gonna do. It is what we're going to do, but yeah. Okay, he dodges again. Once again, to be expected. This time his chance was a little bit lower. There we go. Crit stun. Okay, this should allow us to kill him. It's gonna be a lot of automatic hits now. And that's just what we need here. Um, yes, so disengage. Can't run this way. So we're going to run this way. I'm going to go for towards the wordstone now and start picking stuff up. So let's just... I know there's so many clusters there, but I'm going to go for... Anything that I can reach from here and then back Stop off again. So we're going to go one cluster, two shards, and then I'm going to go in that building. There might still be enemies coming our way. There are still uh, heroes around Objective. that we Objective. don't want to come across. And he is a bit dangered or endangered already. A little bit weakened. And if somebody shows up with a two-handed weapon, they could take him Objective. down in two swings or so. But all the words done is nice. And we just need eight more. It's not that much. It's doable, but it's going to be tricky. You know what? Yeah, let's... No, that's a, that's a bad spot. This is not really better, but maybe a little bit. Okay, let's see. Please don't kill him. He misses once again. Thank you. Please let our parry work. Nope. Oh, can we survive one more hit? No, we cannot. Crap. Okay. That's a shame. So, sneaks down. That... I didn't get the charge on this guy, which is a bummer. Uh, I really would have liked for, for that to happen. Um, but it's not what we need, obviously, necessary. We should still be okay here, more or less. We're gonna disengage with him. Reload. Um, where do we go? Oh, I can actually try to get him with an aim shot. Yes. Okay, good. Still need to make sure that he goes down, so that just makes sense. And that's it. Okay. But I like this. We, we almost have their leader, and we can get him, I think. We've got a, a good shot at that, and we just need to see about that. This guy's also going to go down, and then we have the other ghoul. We probably will have to deal with the zombie that's in there, but we'll have to wait and see uh, what's going to happen here. So he did not have his turn yet. No, he has his turn before this guy, though. So I'm still thinking if we want to disengage here, he's going to go later. Uh, I don't think they can get to him easily. I think I'm gonna... No, he can't disengage. Okay, he, he's he got uh, megalomania, I think. Okay, why is that zombie backing off? Can I see going up north? Good miss. And a parry. Perfect. 
Uh, so aside from our leader going down, this is looking solid right now. Uh, our other leader is ready to, to fill the void. He's not learning anything right now. I hope that nothing too bad will happen to, to our leader, of course, but we'll see. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Okay, so he came down, but he ended in an Overwatch stance again, so that's fine. Good. The issue is these guys that I have there are not enough to go for the Wordstone. Uh, it's not enough. I need somebody else there to make that happen. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get there. So he's in that position. Sure. No, he's just going to run in. His hit chance is not good enough. That's a two. Okay, miss, but that's fine. All we just need is, is a solid setup. But I'm happy with how I move my guys into to make sure that this worked. The, the only big thing that I failed was with my leader, I think. That I shouldn't have done. Can I charge him if I move in from the other side? With Sleto, because Sleto is... In a dangerous position. No, he's not going to get used there. Which means he alone will have to deal with the leader. I hope he can make that. But we can't use Sleto there. He also won't make it to the Wordstone. We need somebody else to get there. How do I make that work with the Wordstone? I don't know yet. But I hope we can figure it out. Yeah, we're just going to... Hmm, that's gonna overlap and put him at a bad position. Against the zombie we should be fine though, so let's go in. I hope I find a better sword as well soon, since he can only parry when he has a sword in his hand. We are kind of reliant on him using a sword, since dodging won't work for him. Uh, I mean, I could just change him and go for a defensive stance or something like that to increase his... his, uh, his Chances that way, that might actually be something we could look into. Uh, just y try to use a different stance with him from now on to uh, to get him to to do what we want, or to to just free up his weapon choices a bit more. A new That's round doesn't started. actually doesn't seem like a bad idea. I don't know why I haven't thought about it this uh, prior. I'm gonna think about it. Okay, we got him. Good. Finish him, and then we are going to go for Wordstone as well. With him, we do have a bit more movement, though, so we can definitely go for some Clusterich here. Let's Objectives see. Updated. So I'm still not quite sure how I'm going to get the last Objectives two Wordstone. Updated. We can get up to nine here, but we need two more. I need to be able to just run over there and get this, but there are enemies in the way, so this might not Objectives work. I'm going to go for a shard again and leave the cluster over there for, for somebody else. And what now? Yeah, there's two heroes here that we, we don't really want to deal with. And then there's this zombie there that we don't want to deal with. I do still have the ambush available for him, which is nice. And I think I'm going to set up an ambush right there. No, that angle looks weird. That's better because it doesn't leave us as exposed but still covers a little bit of ground. And I stay in that vicinity and area that we, we need. Okay, I'm going to try to shoot that guy as well, I think. We want to make sure that we take him down this round. And if I can get just one hit, it's going to make that that much safer. Come on. Ah, okay, bummer. We missed twice. Okay, that's not good. Let's see. He still goes next. He fails his terror test, so he does need to hit this now. And he dodges. So that's what I was afraid of. I don't think he will be able to kill us, but I was expecting that this would happen. My god, why? Let's see, who does he go for? He goes for Sir Killalot. Okay, sure. I mean, that's fine. Uh, so how do we secure the leader now? I mean, Jesus can take shots again, but he's just gonna hit Mew Mew now, and it's gonna deal more damage to Mew Mew than we want. 
It's a lot of hits. It's three or four attacks, I think, that he's going for. Yeah, three. We didn't dodge. We got some sort of debuff. We were insulted, I think that's what that is. Okay. So half cover. Can I... How does he have half cover all of a sudden? I'm still gonna try here. We still... All we're gonna do is shoot him. It... Can't be serious that I just can't hit him. Come on. Nope. Statistically speaking, this is highly unlikely, in case you were wondering. That I miss with four shots in a row on him, and with my... Well, no, he dodged the attack. I didn't miss with the attack. Uh, so, how do we do that now? I think we just have to move them... Nope. Overwatch hit. That was one of the ranged guys there, though. Problem is, he can't do much back here right now. I'm just trying to set him up in a position that he can move into the side soon here. Because I don't want to be next to that. I think we're going to move into this doorway here. Oh, yeah, no, that's not quite a save as I thought it would be. So we probably... ...want to do that, but we're going to throw a Poison Globe out there first. Just so that anything, in case it's a drag, they... I think they're not immune. Zombies might be, but the, the drags shouldn't be, I think. That they will get some damage there. <sighs> the four... Enemies going in a row, especially the two heroes. There it is. Already there. We've got ourselves a zombie. That was to be expected. And I am actually questioning my own sanity. Why did I do this? We're just... I'm, I'm putting my own... I'm risking too much. He's gonna go down. Oh, crap. Why am I doing this? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. Uh, yeah, do this. Probably still gonna pick up some weird stone here, I guess. So can I get myself... ...to make that? Yes, without losing updated. stuff. I want to be next to that zombie. We need to give him a second target to hit, so I need him to get there, but I don't think he will. Oh, okay, good. But I also want the weird stone. As always, come on. Okay, we got it by wiggling, luckily. Objective so I can get update. both shards. And then I still have a movement of two. Or I have two moves, uh, strategy points left to do stuff with. And Objective with a charge, update. I might be able to get there. I still don't think so, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, oh, we got increased movement range. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's going to allow me to go in at least. There we go. Oh, I hate having to deal with zombies. It's a problem. Let's see what the ranged guys do. I assume they might start doing more now since one of them got a shot off. So maybe they will no longer be in the buildings and just overwatch. Okay, there's one more over there. But he's not going to be able to make it in. That's a miss. So their leader is still alive. Then this guy is going to go down. Oh boy. Okay, what is this? That's the guy that was up north, I think. That we only ever saw overwatching, but didn't see what he actually does. Or didn't see him do anything. Okay, we fail our fear test. Lovely, as always. But it doesn't matter too much in this case. We still have a good hit chance. We're going to take him down now. Uh, on top of everything, Sleto will... Oh, did... No, they still have the drag. I was confused there for a moment. Uh, Sleto will get the kill, which is awesome. He needs that, or he needs the experience, or he can use the experience. Let's go with that. Nothing of interest there. And then we're just going to move in into the other zombie here, I assume. Don't have a lot of options, and we might as well just get ourselves uh, a hit in here. Uh, will they... They might have to check for routing once their leader goes down. I hope that's the case. And where's the drag? 
He's there. Where does he go? Over there, but doesn't do anything else. Okay, that's fine then. Wait, can I disengage with him? Can I make it in there? That's the question. I'm gonna try. I'm still worried about their leader, obviously. But I'm not sure I can get all the way around there. And be able to attack him. Yep, and we can't. So that doesn't work, but I can get back into combat there and still get my attack. I don't lose an attack because I tried this. But we should probably attack the drag because he is actually worth some morale there. But the zombie would be a quick fix. I could also still try to go this way. Let me do that. Nah, that's worse. So, do we go for the drag or do we go for the zombie? The zombie and Sleto probably are in a stalemate for at least one round, which I think means we're going to go for the drag. Uh, yeah, just go in there. Okay, that's fine, though. And parry, please. I can try the same thing now with Ashkin. No, but Ashkin already had his attack, so he's also going to move into the drag here, I think. Oh, we still need to take down their leader. Please just let me get it. A new round has started. It's not that difficult, game. Just let me get something decent here. Okay, that's one hit. So the next hit is going to take him down guaranteed. There's no way I can deal... I can't deal... I... I, I I will always deal enough damage for him to not go down. There we go. Um, move him. The thing still is that I need to deal enough damage to begin with to make that work. So do we just move him up front? No, there's that zombie there. But we might be able to get past him. I think we can. Okay, perfect. But let's see. I need to run through the poison. 68, that's... This one, good. Okay. So I'm gonna go through the poison. And just... We need to give him more targets to hit, and also hopefully he can disengage back there. And then we're, we're still gonna be good. <sighs> Please don't let anybody else go down and lose Wordstone on top of everything. I'm probably not going to make the optional. Okay, we make our terror test, so we already have two attacks instead of one. He parries his first attack. Counterattack? Yep. Oh, bummer. Oh, come on. Are you freaking serious? Is he going to take him down now? Oh, come on. This is just... Oh, I hate the RNG sometimes. Why? Why is that necessary? I miss him so much that he gets to take down two. And the terror is just screwing me over for turn after turn. And now I'm, a, I'm, I'm mad. Let's, let's stop being mad. Let's not be mad. I'm not making a single dodge. He's just... He's, he's wailing away with his little whittle dagger. And he's gonna kill me now in case he doesn't miss. Nope, because why would he miss? I mean, he missed in the beginning twice or so. But I hate this. Why is this a thing? Why does the RNG need to be that cruel sometimes? That was just completely unnecessary. Finally he's dead, but it's too late. It's... Ah, <sighs> not enough. And they e don't even have to check for routing. Ah, I hate this so, so much. This is such a fun enterprise. Let's just hope that nothing bad happens to my good guys here. But I kind of get the feeling that something bad is going to happen to my good guys. And there might be somebody else going down very, very soon. Okay, so I can't make this without... Um, 
and still have an aim shot. That's what I wanted to say. So we're just going to take our 60% shot. We do obviously miss because I can't hit any shots right now. And then he's going to end his turn there. So he can disengage. That's important. That's very important because that means we can keep him alive. I will still be able to attack him twice though. And then we are going to disengage and run away. So where do I run? Probably as far down south as I can get because we just need to get away from the zombie that's back there that we otherwise... Uh, that otherwise might have been able to... Uh, get us. Yeah, let's let's just end back here. So these guys can take the beating. The zombie's not gonna impact the morale, unfortunately, but what can you do? At least they get to do something. I hate that by the guys went down. It's just so annoying and so unnecessary, I feel like. It's just if I had needed one I mean the leader going down, that is okay. That can happen. That's the it's the it's a thing. It's not I still don't understand why I didn't get the charge there, why I didn't have an angle, and he could just attack me. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but... Mew Mew going down was just entirely thanks to RNG, I think. There was no way that 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 was necessary. I missed with five ranged attacks that all had an above 50% hit chance. And then I missed and he parried twice against Mew Mew just at the point where I needed exactly one hit to make sure that he goes down. So he just lived long enough to make sure that I couldn't. Uh, and if this goes on longer and he makes his route checks on top of everything, if he makes that route check after taking down the drag, we're in trouble. Because, yeah, it's it's just not good. I'm not sure if... if they are below routing, and we take down a zombie if they have to check again because they're 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 route uh, they're they're my God, why do I keep missing? Could I just please hit something? I'm sorry for being this salty right now, but yeah, and he hits with his 64% counter attack. Sure, it's I lost my train of thought. I'm just flustered here because we started off so good. I was so happy. Um, I remembered now the point that I was trying to make, but it's just annoying. And now he's probably going to run away, which I actually didn't want. I like the free attacks, but I want him to be near to us so that I can still hit him with everything. So now he's probably going to go in the building. No, okay, he's right there. Okay, he's still out in the open, so this is still okay. And I can still go in. <sighs> So I'm not sure if, if we drop their morale uh, a little bit further with this guy and then they make their route check. If they if I kill a zombie, if they have to check again because their morale doesn't actually drop but they lose an additional warrior. So I'm not sure how that works out. We can a also go for their idol started. and that's probably something that we should attempt now. Let's see if we can take this guy down first so that he is not in an all alone point. That's the case. Good. And now I can not steal their idol because it's gonna cost me wordstone if I do that. But is it... Mm, Overwatch? He misses. Oh, hello. My friend. Would it be worth it? Okay, I'm just gonna set him up over here to do that next turn, possibly. But I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to focus on the drag. We just want to knock him down. And we should be able to do that this round. And then we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, now he magically can hit again. I mean, my hit chance is a bit better now, but still. I'm still mad at how that played out. Uh, it just feels so unnecessary. As long as the injuries aren't bad. Oh, okay. He didn't get stunned, though. So at least we have that. As long as the the injuries aren't bad, we, we are okay. But it's still a possible problem. Okay, can we... Let's see. Switch weapons. Then we need to reload, yes, and 
Yeah, we can't get him close enough, so I'm gonna keep him back here for now. Or do we wanna... I want him to be hidden, though. So we probably want him right here or something like that. So yeah, let's do that and hope for the best. There's still that guy back there, and I'm not sure we're gonna be able to kill the drag f fast enough. He could steal the idol. He could make it there. Is that the, the quickest path? No. Can he make it there? He's in cover right now. Now he wouldn't be in cover. So let's first let me check if I could get there. We could. We could steal it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to steal it. It's going to cost me the optional objective, I think. Uh, or, the, yeah, the, the basically the last chance I had at that, but that's okay. So take our 60% shot right there. We miss, but that's okay. Well, it, it, it isn't really, but it's what I like to say right now to make myself feel better. Um, it's okay if Sir Killot gets hit. In this case, I actually mean it. And then they both resist. Okay, sure. So, let's steal the idol. There we go. <sighs> this hopefully will lead to them just failing their out check and, and ending this. But we'll have to wait and see. So, tries can't do much. Uh, hopefully he will survive this. If they make their route check, this zombie could deal a bit of damage against him still, and he's already taken uh, quite a few hits. So let's see how this ends up doing. They fail their route check. Okay. It's fine. We are clo we were close from the optional, but with the placement of the wordstone, it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. <sighs> I'm not happy with the outcome here. I hope we we don't get crippled out of this. The wordstone that we got is at least still good wordstone. We got all the clusters and the rest are shards. And hopefully we will get some nice shards as rewards here. As well. Full recovery on sneak. That's a relief already. Concussion. He loses a strategy point. It's better than an offense point. But that's probably the only upside I have about this, I guess. It, because it's going to slow him down, and that's not really something we, we can really uh, we can really afford. But, I mean, what am I supposed to do? There, there really isn't anything I can do about that, so... It's better than losing an arm or leg or dying, so I'm going to say glass is half full and be okay with it, I guess. Remarkable. Good. Sledo getting another strategy point at hitting rank 5. So that's nice. And then we got some a pistol, a shield. The clothing is good, I think. That's something we might be able to use. Okay, so how do we do this? So since Mew Mew is out, I think I need Ryrx back in. So we can't go around and master the vital strike right now. Uh, that's just not gonna work. So fighting claws for him. He's gonna get the blue ones in the meantime. Okay, let's switch some stuff around. So Sleto needs to sit this one out, which means I think we are going to switch Gorzon back in. Yeah, that works. And then we have all of these. Uh, cheeses are kill a lot. I think we're going to keep the rest here. Eradicator is still not good. And then Mew Mew is going to get switched against Rierx. There we go. Whew. Okay, so not quite the ideal outcome that I was hoping for, but it's better than nothing. So let's be happy about that uh, and live with it, I guess. But yeah, for now, this is where we're going to end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more and more time, just stick around. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye, guys.